films and filmmakers are only part of the picture here at Sundance. And one of the big reasons that creative artists bring their work here is in the hope of getting their films seen by audiences around the country. That's where people like Tom Ortenberg come in. I'm looking for entertainment first, and if it happens to be a film that can change people's lives, that can affect people, all the better, but, but we're, looking, we're looking for entertainment. Well, have you seen anything you liked? Tom Ortenberg is president of theatrical films for Lionsgate Entertainment, and he's been involved in the making and release of some big time movies with messages, including documentaries by Michael Moore and feature or narrative films such as Crash and Monsters Ball. Difference between Hollywood and Sundance. Um, well, the, the, the lines between Hollywood and Sundance are certainly blurring. The festival certainly has become more glamorous and more about Hollywood, um, and there's more money than ever poured into Sundance and more people than ever. But at its heart, the Sundance Film Festival, more so than any other film festival in the world, is about American independent cinema. They do a great job of, of picking out terrific independent films. They can't control the Hollywoodization that goes on around them. They can't stop Hollywood studios from buying out storefronts on Main Street and hosting all of these big swag suites and lavish parties. The studios are engaged in something of a tug of war with the festival, it seems, for the soul of it. But at its core, it is still about American independent film, and that's what makes it special. What are you looking for when you, when you look at that film? For a narrative, the film has to be entertaining first. If it, if it feels like it's preachy, if it feels like it's message first and entertainment later, then, it, then it's usually a recipe for, for failure at the box office. Now, as opposed to a documentary. A lot of people think that documentaries have to be or should be objective. Um, and, and really, that's the, the farthest thing from the truth. Um, I think a documentary, certainly my experience, by definition, is and should be subjective. But it is, it's fact-based, it's telling a true story with real people. Um, but with a point of view. With a, with a point of view, and it's, I think there's a misunderstanding a lot, sometimes among filmmakers and among audiences, that somehow a documentary shouldn't have a point of view, when I think it's absolutely necessary to have a point of view. Do films, both feature films and documentaries, do they lead, help create public opinion, or follow public opinion? I think that they mostly mirror it. Um, I don't think that films really lead public opinion because if I, my, my sense is that if people weren't feeling it in some way, somehow inside them, that film would not lead them there. Fahrenheit 9-11 certainly helped bring the Iraq war into focus. Sicko last year, I think, helped bring healthcare in America into focus. A movie like Crash certainly bring, does bring race relations into focus, but I think, it, I think it has to touch something inside people and it kind of, and it allows What's, what people are feeling inside, even if they're not aware that they're feeling it or don't know how to make sense of what they're feeling it, but, but the best films can bring out the best in people. Um, but films absolutely, narrative or, or nonfiction, can, can certainly help focus, focus attention on, on certain issues and, and contribute to the dialogue in America, absolutely. When we return, Hollywood and America changing together.